Logic Pro finally got some much needed updates. Let's talk about it. So during the latest Apple event on May 7th, Apple announced some big updates coming to Logic Pro and Final Cut as some of their selling points when unveiling the new iPads that are coming out soon. For this episode, I'll just be touching on the Logic Pro changes, but if you wanna know about the Final Cut Pro changes in a similar breakdown video, let me know in the comments below. So this update is littered with AI features, and the first of these being the bass player and the keyboard player joining the drum player. Now, if you don't know what these are, that's okay. Essentially, these are some AI instrumentalists and you can use some parameters and they will essentially make some notes for you, in this case being either bass or keyboard notes. Now, this surprisingly works much better than you think and you can easily get AI to generate your drums and keyboard for you now if you simply can't be bothered doing it yourself. It'll be interesting to see how this plays a part in the workflow of producers and beat makers, but myself as a recording artist, I know it's going to be useful when I can remove the original bass and keys from a beat that I've purchased and give it a new bass line, give it a new set of keys, even though I have no beat making experience, I'll be able to remake the beat with some new elements and it's still gonna come out sounding fairly decent. The next feature is the stem splitter. Now, this is sort of self-explanatory and honestly it's nothing too special because there's been loads of other programs and applications that have been able to do this for a long time. However, I'm very grateful that now it's just built into Logic Pro, so I'm not gonna have to use a different program to stem split and I can just do it natively within Logic Pro. This is going to be especially useful for artists that are just starting out and don't want to spend, you know, a hundred to two hundred dollars on getting the track outs for a beat. They can only afford a wave or an MP3. Well, now they can actually stem split that wave or MP3. And this actually works a lot better than you may think too. People that use this sort of stem splitting already on different applications knows it works well, but now it's Apple doing it. So you can be damn sure that it works really well. The third big feature they announced was Chromaglow, which is essentially just a fancy term for a harmonic saturator. In typical Apple fashion, they tried to blow this out of proportion and make it seem like a bigger deal than it actually is. But as Alice Rovin said perfectly in layman's terms, it is essentially just a giant audio LUT. Now the ones Apple has made specifically are designed to simulate the sound of vintage analog hardware. That's Apple words, not mine. Now, it's a little bit unclear whether AI comes into play with this one, and I think more or less it is just machine learning, but Apple has just dived headfirst into the AI trend, so they're just using AI instead of machine learning now because they know it's going to get more clicks and attention. Now, on top of these three features that they talked about on stage, there's actually a huge list of other changes they made. I'll leave a link in the comment below so you can read the full patch notes because there's simply way too many to go over in one video. I hope I managed to break down and simplify the latest update coming to Logic Pro. I know Apple did make it seem a little bit confusing using terms like Promaglow. Anyway, share this with someone that uses Logic Pro and may not be aware of the updates, but that's all for me for this time. Consider clicking one of the videos on screen right now and I'll see you next episode. Peace out.